Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel. I hope all of you are having a beautiful day because I truly am. Today is a very exciting day for all the Formula One fans. Finally, racing is back and we're back to uh, the opening of the season. So lots of excitement, lots of uh, just pure passion. Everybody's excited, everybody's happy, and just uh, we don't know what's gonna come, but we're just so excited because uh, obviously racing is life. Uh, it doesn't matter what team you support, but just seeing the cars hit the the track and just hitting those tires, top speed, 300 kilometers per hour, it's just, it's just a dream in heaven, you know? So uh, really excited, and I will be mostly covering Ferrari. That's my team, that's my love. Uh, so I'm a Tifosi for life, so Ferrari will be the team I cover uh, for those who are new on this channel. So here we go. Uh, this is my official reaction to free practice number one and two uh, from Ferrari. Um, I, will, I will start off by talking about just our performance. Um, you know, I just say in the beginning that I'm having a beautiful day because... I, I am excited about racing, you know, I'm just so happy to see the cars back on track, you know, I'm just happy to hear the beautiful engine of Formula One cars, uh, that I am happy about, but it's a very difficult day for Ferrari fans, uh, it's a difficult day for, for, for me also, uh, I'm just like a little disappointed by uh, Carlos Sainz's performance, uh, he finished P20 and p fourteen. Um, in free, free practice one, he, he finished like last at P20 and then he improved a bit in, in the free practice number two. Um, and he ended up at P 14th, but it's still not good enough. It's still not good enough. You know, I hope we can improve that really quickly. And I hope tomorrow, uh, at the free practice number three and qualifyings, uh, we can improve that because this is really worrying a bit. You know, I'm not hundred percent stressed yet because it's still a practice and we not, we don't know what's going to happen. We never know. We, it could be a comeback. It could be just a little desperation and then we fix it tomorrow. Boom, everything's good. We, we're not, we, we don't know what's going to happen. It's only, it depends truly on the team and the pilot. Uh, but, um, you know, it's, it's still worrying as a fan, you know, seeing, uh, Carlos Sanz, who is a fantastic pilot. He's amazing. He's, he's one of the most underrated pilot on the on the grid you know in my eyes obviously i may be a little biased here because you know i'm a big ferrari supporter and i will uh vouch and i will stay loyal to any ferrari driver uh <laughs> any time any every single time i have a chance to i will stay loyal uh till my last breath to you know ferrari pilots you know so i may be biased at all times but it's true. I mean, you know, I give respect to a lot of the other pilots as well. You know, guys like Nick DeVries and Yuki Sonoda and Zhou Guan Yu and uh, Valtteri Bottas. You know, all like there's a few pilots that I f feel like they're very, very underrated at the moment. You know, uh, who, who can cause a lot of damage. But I think Carlos Sainz is the most underrated on the grid. Like, uh, <laughs> with full biasness, but come on. Like, he's just so underrated. And, you know, especially his win, his first ever win in Formula 1 last year uh, in Silverstone was just epic. It was just beautiful. So, uh, yeah, Carlos Sainz is just so underrated. So it's really disappointing to see him that down below, you know. I, it was almost hard for me to believe it, you know, like like when I was watching like like the results and stuff, I was just really disappointed to see Sainz P20. It's just, it's not something that you see every day, you know. It's just like, it was it was crucial. It was, it was, it was still very heartbreaking, you know. I was just like, come on, like, at least be top 10, you know. Like, it was just really hard to see Sainz struggle that bad. Uh, but yeah, in the free practice number one, though, uh, Sainz did uh, spin, so that's why it really hurt his uh, time, uh, you know, and that's probably why he ended up last um, because uh, his, his time just got worse. I mean, as soon as you spin, your, your time is pretty much done, even though your, your time is counting, counting, counting. But uh, yeah, like, uh, um, it, it cost him a lot there. And, you know, 
I'm just happy that the car is good, you know, that we don't have to remake the car or, you know, have some major changes or fix the engine. Uh, you know, that would be really, really tough on us because, you know, it's, it's a lot of pressure on, on the mechanics and the engineers, you know. Uh, at least the car is good. It's just a minor uh, error that we have to fix. So it will take us maybe a few hours to fix it, but uh, it will be fixed. You know, it's like not a major accident or anything. It's not like a, a big crash. Like the car is not told or it's not like, like the car is not destroyed or anything. Um, but yeah, Carlos Sanz had a struggle, definitely struggled. It was not his day today and it was just tough for all the Ferrari fans to see Carlos Sanz's performance. Uh, so that's, that's that about Carlos Sanz. Now shifting to Charles Leclerc, I will end this video off talking about Charles Leclerc and, and, and the, and, and the event tomorrow because uh, by the way, the, the events for today are done. Uh, the, the session for Friday is done. Uh, free practice number one and two came to an end and this has all official results. So if you want to go see, uh, either you, you can go check my, uh, like my bio for the official numbers and results, or you can just go on the Instagram of Ferrari uh, to see like the, the official results. And yeah, Friday has come to an end and this is my, you know, basically my official reaction. So here we go to Charles Leclerc. Charles Leclerc, uh, he hasn't had the best of performances. Like uh, he did, like I think in uh, in free practice number one and two, he ended up at like I think P. I think yeah, I know in in uh, free practice number one he ended up at P five. Uh, I I forgot a bit about uh, about uh, I forgot about free practice number two. I'm not hundred percent sure. I think he's like, I think he was P four. If I'm not wrong, I think it was either P4, between P4 and P6. And I will, I'll put it in my bio anyway, so it's not like really, it doesn't really matter. I know, I know uh, Charles Leclerc ended up at, uh, you know, between uh, P1 and P6, uh, you know, like he ended up, he ended up pretty much in top six spot. So that's really, really good. You know, it's not the best, it's not the best scenes, but it's really, really good for, for us. It's still good to see that we have a car and we have a pilot that is in the top six, top five around ish, you know? So, uh, there's a little hope there. Um, but it's not just, it's not a, it's not a day that Ferrari fans want to, you know, like see again, you know, for today. So it's like a day that I would love to forget and just focus on free practice number three and the qualifying tomorrow. It's it, especially qualies. This is, this is going to be very crucial for us and it's going to set a tone for the rest of the season. So it's really important for us to make a big statement in qualifying tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, really excited for tomorrow. Uh, Bashar Leclerc had, you know, uh, an okay performance. It was, a, it was pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. It was pretty good. Uh, if I would have to give him a rating, I would give him like maybe like a 7.5, 8 out of 10 performance. You know, I know Charles Leclerc can easily take pole position. Like Charles Leclerc is the type of guy that can easily get P1, 2, 3. You know, he's supposed to be a top three. And if you don't see Charles Leclerc in top three, then you're just disappointed because Charles Leclerc is that good. He's that talented. And he's a guy that can easily match Max Verstappen. You know, uh, as much as I have, as much as I don't really like Max Verstappen as a pilot, uh, I, I just have to give him his respect and, you know, I have to give him as much respect because Max Verstappen is still a very, very talented pilot. Um, but yeah, like last year, for example, Charles Leclerc was the only one and the championship was ours last year. So that's why we were so heartbroken. It was just so frustrating. And it's, it's a year, like last year was a year for us to forget because the championship was ours. It was ours. We gave it away free handily to Red Bull. We we fucked it up for us, you know, and that's just how frustrating it was for us. Like it was our championship and we gave it away for free with no fight or nothing. We just gave it away, like just like that, you know, so um, it was really disappointing for us. And Charles Leclerc will come back with the, with his aggression era. I hope he turns it on and he gets into that villain era and, you know, shows everybody who who Charles Leclerc is because I see a lot of Ferrari haters. We, I think at the, at the moment, we're the most trolled team and I get it. I understand. Um, we deserve it. I mean, we, we screwed up so much for, for 10 years straight. We, we have, 
uh, fucked up our races, so uh, we have to give it away. Uh, we did fucked up a lot of our races uh, and a lot of a lot of our championship uh, results and uh, for for ten years almost or or more like twelve, thirteen years it's been now that we haven't had had a championship. So people doubt us. People think that we're never gonna be great again. So I, I take that. Uh, but yeah, really excited to be racing again. Really excited to see Ferrari back on track today. Um, that was a good side of it. At least we have, you know, Charles Leclerc did put up a very good performance, very solid performance. I'm, not, I'm, I'm going to give him his credit. Uh, but I'm also just on, on the bright side looking at uh, just being happy to have cars back on track. Just just as simple as it is, you know. Uh, but see you guys tomorrow. I'll, I'll get you guys a reaction tomorrow about uh, free practice number three and the qualies. Uh, so see you guys tomorrow. Stay tuned and let me know what you guys think about today's performance, all the Ferrari fans. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Uh, I think I'm mostly con I'm mostly um, mostly I'm more focused on uh, on the qualies because you no know, qualifyings are very crucial for the for a race for for race day. Uh, that's why I like 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 for everybody. I think it's like that for everybody. You know, like tomorrow. Even though free practice number three, it's important, but I think like qualifying is everything. It's it's everybody is just most crucial moment because you don't know like this is what matters. You know, uh, race day always is, is the is the biggest thing, right? Like race is just what everybody watches, but qualifying is, is as underrated and as important as a race. You know, uh, so yeah, see, see you guys tomorrow. Um, you know, we're, we're gonna have a good session. Hopefully, Ferrari fixes its problem and we can have a Carlos Sainz and Charles Leclerc in the top five at least. That's my expectation for free practice number three. If if in free practice number three, we may not we we may not get top five. I expect Carlos Sainz and Charles Leclerc to stay at least at least be in the top ten. At least be in the top ten. But my expectation for qualifying tomorrow is at least a top five for both of our pilots for Sainz and Leclerc. So see uh, once again I keep talking but I'm just so excited for tomorrow. Uh yeah so see you guys tomorrow. I hope you have a great day. Take care everyone and peace out. Bye bye.